Hey everybody, it's been a while since I actually posted any videos to the Q Computer Channel. It's been a while since I actually made some videos. A good portion of that would be to blame on the college semester. I've been very busy with school and everything, so I haven't had much time to really mess with YouTube. But anyways, I'm going to make some videos since i got some time. In this video, I'm going to be talking about thermal compound. Yes, it's a relatively simple thing for most computer technicians, but... I got a message from somebody today on Facebook, and of course I'm not going to share the person's name or anything, but basically they uh, informed me that their CPU cool was not working too well. And I said, um, I said, why is it not working? It says it's not cooling, and I said, well, um, is your fan working? Is the heat sink clogged up with dust? Or how's your thermal compound? He said that he used glue instead of paste because he was out of thermal compound. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video tonight to explain the importance of thermal compound and what it does. Here we have a basic aluminum heat sink here that was pulled out of a system that still has its thermal compound on. Basically thermal compound is a material that is actually composed of very small particles. It all depends on what kind of paste you have, that the, what those particles will be. Like, let's say an Arctic Silver 5, which is not, that's not what this is, but an Arctic Silver 5 you have very small polysynthetic silver particles in the compound and basically what these little bitty particles do is they fill gaps within a heat sink and of course these particles conduct heat and it's also important that you don't over apply your thermal paste because the purpose of thermal paste is to fill in those gaps and here's an example of what those gaps look like you have to look very close here I'm trying to get this as good focus as possible, you can probably see a bunch of lines on the bottom of this cooler. This is a direct touch heat pipe cooler, and you can see that the machining is not the best on this thing. This is a real cheap, like $20 cooler. I got this in a thrift store. I've actually bought one of these brand new and made a little video review about it. And that cooler has been in use in an Intel system for probably a year and a half now. But anyways, here's a close look at this core. You can see those lines. Look at it from the side. So basically, the thermal compound, what it does is it fills in these very tiny little gaps to help conduct heat from your CPU to your core. And the better your core is lapped, the less the paste will have to be used. Let's say you have a very, very good lap CPU core that mates with the heat spreader extremely well. You'd have to, you wouldn't have to use much thermal compound at all. Just put a very thin amount and spread it very thin across the base of the core. Now in the scenario where this person used glue, the purpose of the thermal compound is not to adhere the core to the CPU. I mean, it does do that due to the um, compound filling in these gaps. It does create a bond but of course your retention mechanism your, these um, push pins on this Intel style setup are actually what hold the heat sink onto the processor so um, basically glue for that matter is actually more of an insulator it's not designed to transfer material unless you have let's say something like um, they do actually make some kinds of thermal, thermal material that is more like an an adhesive but your standard glue like Elmer's glue or whatever it's not really <laughs> a thermal uh, conductor it's more of an insulator but here's a little tip my buddy Tim showed me yesterday let's say you do not have any thermal paste at all but let's say you do have some white lithium grease available you can actually use white lithium grease I've never done it myself but he says you can do it so there's your little tip if you're actually out of thermal compound and you can't go to Radio Shack or Best Buy and get any um, basically you can use white lithium grease if you have some that'd be a nice little temporary um, solution so anyways um, now this is a quick little tidbit about thermal compound most of y'all should already know this but a lot of the newbies to computer repair probably don't and you just learned so anyways 
got any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.